Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you for a special clinic session. And here today, what we're going to do is discuss on how to close prospects after you have shown them the blood. Now, the very first thing that I would want to know is how do I know you? You need to do something called KYC. Do you know your prospect, right? Now, let me give you an example. Jihan. How do I know Jihan? Jihan is a mom and she's worried about her kid's future. This is KYC, right? Uh, Rania. Rania is actually in middle of making a career decision. She's trying to see if this business is going to work for her. I know her why. Susu, she's working as a general manager in a company, but she's dissatisfied and she's got the desire to change. She's dissatisfied, she's got desire to change. That's her why, right? Uh, Hanno, when she joined the business, uh, she just felt that, you know, there is something good coming out of this. So she got active, right? Gaida. Sitting at home, she's been figuring it out how to do an online business for a very, very long time. But suddenly she got click and she said, uh, Renault Global. So this is how, this is how you KYC. KYC is very, very important, right? Now, Hassan, the person who you prospected, how do you know them? How? First of all, I know them a uh, long time ago. Uh, either they are uh, my friends. They're your or friends. People, yeah, my friends. Or people that uh, we used to study together. Fantastic. When you and studied together, how many years back was that? Oh, longest. Uh, about uh, maybe 25. 25 years back. So someone like me, right? 28 years back, 30 years back, we were in school, we were in college together, right? The very first thing that I would want to know is where are you in life? Write down. Where are you in life today? Okay. So I ask uh, uh, Khaldun, uh, where are you? So what's up, bro? Where are you in life today? Khaldun says, I'm director of communication at Salat. What? Director of Communication at Salat. So if he's Director of Communication at Salat, you know what kind of fat salary he's drawing? Very, very fat salary. How do I pitch to Khaldun? I would say Khaldun, you know, they've got a product to get black and peeling water. Amazing product for you, your wife and your kids. Buy this. Halas, end of pitch. Right? But somebody says, you know, I lost my job. Okay. You lost your job. So what next? You get the person engaged before the presentation. Now, just because I prospect you, that doesn't mean I have to show you the plan. Wrong. You need to know where is the prospect now? Once you know where is the prospect now, you kind of get an idea how to pitch. Now, from the little I know about Rania, I know Rania likes to travel. So when I know Rania likes to travel, do not pitch Black MP Living Water to her, pitch travel portal to her because Rania likes travel. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to study the prospect and understand what is this prospect interested all about. And then you start the presentation. Now. The best presentation is one-on-one. -on -one. Face to face, one-on-one. -on -one. That's the best. Zoom and all, there on the side. The best is one-on-one -on -one presentation. When I know when Rania likes to travel, I would do something called close as you go. Right? See, you can go to Bali for free. See, I'll give you 90% discount in Bali. See, you got 70% discount in Dubai. Close as you go. So throughout the presentation, when Rania is hearing the presentation, she is understanding, she is gaining some value out of the discussion. 
And when Rania knows that she is gaining value out of the discussion, Rania will join. Because I know her why, I know how, and I'm doing this call connection. Right. Now, the friends that were there with me in school and colleges and all, some of them are big shots, multi-millionaires. Okay. So what would I do with all my multi-millionaire friends? There is a fantastic product, whichever business they are doing, their business is not uh, doing this because I'm part of a global referral program where we are the exclusive distributors for this program. I've got a friend. I'm not going to take his name because very soon he's going to join the business, right? This guy travels a lot. All I got to do is catch up with him for a coffee, show him the discounts. Even rich people, they don't mind discounts, right? So they would just be a so-called happy customer. And even with a happy customer, you can take referrals very, very easy, right? So now I showed my friend Jihan the plan. I showed, she's a mother. She's worried about her kids' education, correct? This is her why. Now, I show her the plan and I show her residual income. And I will tell her, see Jihan, when you're making these cycle tricks, as you're building the network, your kids' education is automatically being taken care of. Plus, you're getting a bit of financial help. Once I finish showing the plan, I attack Jihan with the golden question. Please write the golden question down. Jihan, what is the best thing you liked about the presentation? Jihan answers, I have a doubt. Okay, Jihan, I will answer your doubts. But what is the best thing you liked? Jihan will say, you know, the black MP living water is very interesting. Or she will say, the travel deal is amazing. I love travel. Or she will say the money angle is amazing. She will give me something called Q. This is a Q, is a hint. Q to close. So when Jihan talks to me about the money, what should I do? Close her with money. When Rania talks to me about travel portal, what I will do? Close her with travel discounts. When Hassan Ibrahim talks to me about health issues, what I will do, close Hassan Ibrahim with health. This is what I will do. So the very first thing I will do is what is the best thing you liked about this, uh, what I shared with you. Now, there's another reason why I would say this has to be the first question. This has to be the first question because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring my prospect in a positive mind frame. I asked them, what did you like? I did not ask them what you did not like. So when you talk about what you like, this is a positive message. And if it is a positive message, the prospect has already become in a positive mind frame. Right? Now, he understands everything. Then he will say, I have a few questions. Rania, I understand you have a few questions, right? Let's hear them out. What are the questions? So now the prospect is going to do two things. He's going to shoot questions to gather information or clarity, or the prospect is just asking questions because he wants to ask questions. So what are the objections you guys are facing when you have prospects talking to you after the presentation. Hassan Ibrahim, over to you. Hassan Goya, tell me, what are their objections? I'm not sure which. Bro, you just showed them the plan. Okay, uh, you just showed them the plan. Rania, what are your general objections? Susu, what are your general objections? Jihan, what are your general objections? Let me hear them. Let me help you. You show them the plan. 
بعد كده يعني بتكون حجتهم شنو في انهم ما عايزين يدخلوا. عن دخلت علي البنت فصارت مشكله هيك. اوكي. طيب most of people's coaches like either they want to try first the black and empty water. Stop. I want to try this product first uh, before I actually make an informed decision. Very good. Yalla, give me uh, give me two fifty drums and take bottle. This is how you will close this person. Get it, Hassan? I've been today with me even with one person. Yeah, but did you sell the uh, sell the bottle? No. Why? Because he's not ready to to take it today. Okay, but did you make a drink in detail? He refused as well. He want he don't want to try one day. He want to try it at least for two weeks or one month. Not a problem. But he's not ready to buy it. No problem. No problem. Do you know enough testimonies of Black and Pea Living Water to pitch to the prospect so that they buy the water then and there? The first thing is myself that I have a lot of health issue. Correct. And he knows that friend that I met today, he knows all my Correct. health issues. Good. And even I lost a lot of weight. Okay. Which is very good. Like, Correct. Uh, he was even shocked because he didn't see me for a long time. Right. When he saw that and my movement become even better than uh -huh. before, uh -huh. was I had a lot of accident in my body and a lot of operation. Right. So, but the thing is, with all that, he want to try himself before he Correct. sell it to other people. Correct, because it's a health-based product. He will want to try the product to make the informed decision. So this prospect, yes. leave him alone. Next. My question is, my question is, guys, everybody in this training, this is a live session is being recorded. I want, I request you to be a little fast. What are the objections you guys are facing from your prospect? So this prospect said, Hassan Ibrahim's prospect said, I want to try the product and then I will decide. Not a problem. He doesn't have the money today. He will have the money next weekend. He will get the money or the two, week, two, uh, two weeks later, he'll get the money. He will try the product back then. That's okay. But what are the general objections that you actually face? The main things, coach, you say, uh, we don't have money to pay for that. that we don't not. have money, right? Very good, right. Now, mm. money is the most commonly used objection in the world. The most commonly used objection, right? Now, how do I tackle a friend of mine who says, I don't have money, right? Now, what do you mean, I don't have money? It does not mean... Mafi for loose. Hmm. I don't have money. That does not what it means. I have money, but I'm not sure if I should give you my money for this. And what, how you actually interaction with this person, is that the only thing stopping you from joining here, right here, right now? So now what we're going to do is teach you how to zero in closing. Is that the only thing that is stopping you? So, Jihan, let's say you don't have money. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking, Jihan, is that the only thing stopping you? What would you say? Yes. Yes, that's the only thing stopping you. And yeah. what I will do is reply with FFF, which stands for feel, felt, found. Guys? I know a lot of people who did not have money to join this business, mm -hmm. right? A lot of people, right? Some of them borrowed money. Some of them sold a gold chain, right? And they joined this business. And the kind of money they are making today is unbelievable, right? This is a permanent solution to your financial problem, Jihan. And I think if your issue today is I don't have money, you need the business more than I do, Jihan. So you got to zero in on the problem. And that's when you are actually offering a friend a solution. Right? 
he says yeah but i just don't have the money no problem jian can you refer people i'll tell you what i'll do for you because you're my friend i will do a special consideration i'm a member for every travel portal i get 200 dollars what i'm going to do is i'm going to set aside 150 dollars for you or 100 dollars for you you give me the referrals and i will give you 100 dollars is that a deal so if the person is genuine and wanting to work something out he will like or she will like straight away as an upline do not uh, offer to pay money on their behalf because that doesn't work you would end up losing a lot of money if that's what you do right so do you understand how to tackle i don't have money issue very good next what is the next thing your prospect is actually telling you guys yes okay. yes i cannot talk to people or if i talk to them i cannot chase them back okay no i cannot talk to people is that the only thing ranya that is talk yes i mean talking to them specifically to to yeah to introduce this business yeah ranya i know a lot of people who are scared to talk to people right i know people i know people who are scared to talk to a lot of people right and i know many many people in the world who were exactly like that and people who are scared to talk to people are not called successful people i was one of them i was very reluctant to talk to people but what i did i changed my mindset and by changing my mindset i have changed the way i live today i have become a millionaire because i changed my mindset in order to be a millionaire you don't need a million dollars in your account in order to uh, be a millionaire you need to change your mindset so samira are you ready to change your mindset no pradeep i cannot change my mindset because i'm born this way not a problem samira samira if let's say you were to do this business who would the first two people be who you would like to refer in this business well i've got two friends okay what are the name one's name is hanno one's name is ranya very good can i get hanno's mobile number okay 9992221111 okay thank you so much where is hanno from hanno is sudanese but hanno is in uk thank you so much who's the second girl you mentioned ranya okay Rania is also in UK. Okay, uh, Rania's number five 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 two 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 two. Thank you so much, Jihan. I really appreciate your help. Do consider what we discussed. This is very beneficial. Not a problem, right? Call Hanno. Call Rania, and tell Hanno. No, I am actually calling you on behalf of Jihan from UK. Right? On behalf of Jihan from UK. Now, does Hanno know Jihan? Yes, Anu knows Jihan, and explain the product to Anu. Explain the product to Rania, and when Anu and Rania are ready to join, call Jihan once again. Jihan, can I say something? Yeah, I spoke to Anu and Rania. Fantastic prospects. Both are ready to join. All you got to do is join with a lower package. Put them below you. One on the left, one on the right, and you're going to make money. Are you ready to make money, Jihan? For all you know, now time has changed. Now Jihan is ready to join, and she also knows that Hanno and uh, Rani are interested. Now she engages with you, and that's how you actually tackle that. Feel, felt, found, guys. FFF is the only way you can actually do this. The faster you actually learn this, the faster you actually make money. Next objection. I don't have time, coach. I have. I'm working. Okay. So it's a wallahi. When I say this, I'm saying wallahi from the bottom of my heart. 
Do you know who I was when I joined my new job? <coughs> I was managing director of Linkwise Software. We used to live in Sharjah then. My office opens at 8 a.m. in the morning. Well, yeah, Sharjah and Dubai has had a never-ending problem. A never-ending problem of traffic. Sometimes it would take us one and a half hours, one hour, 45 minutes to reach the office. I had to leave home at 6, 6.10, maximum 6.15 to make sure that I am there in the office by 8. To leave my home at 6.15 a.m., I would have to at least wake up at 5.15 a.m., right? 5.15 a.m. I would go, I would open the office at 8. Our office timing was from 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. 6 p.m., the whole world is going back to Sharjah. So much traffic. If you sit in the car at 6 p.m., you're not reaching home before 9 p.m. So what I would do, I would leave office at 8.45 p.m. Funny, you leave 6 p.m., you reach home at 9 p.m., you leave 8.45 p.m., you're there by 9.05. It consumes less petrol and time on the road. So I used to leave office at 9 p.m. What time did I wake up? I woke up at 5.15 a.m. I'm leaving office at 9 p.m. Finally, I reach home. Okay, the very first thing I want to do is go for a shower. I finish my shower. I come on the dinner table hungry, right? A quick meal, 10, 20 minutes of television, go to sleep. Why? The next morning, I had to do the same thing. Now, this is called the marathon of life. I did not have time. Go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home. And being the managing director of Linkwise, every employee's salary was on my head. So when the company was doing good, it was good because we made profit. But when the company started suffering, I had to work harder. How much more harder? I would work harder, right? A friend of mine told me that there is a business called network marketing. And in network marketing, there is something what's called leverage. What is leverage? It's basically a time trade, time versus money. And by doing that, you can actually do much better in life. And by doing that, you can actually gain time. And one thing I was trying to do was trying to play the time versus money game. That's why I was in prison. I went to a seminar. I understood the whole concept, but very little, because I had zero experience in that. But I understood if I'm getting leverage, I can do a lot for my time. I started working on a leverage plan. And you know what, guys? Within two months of the business, I decided to do it full time. Full time. See, my office used to open at 8 a.m. My office used to get over at 6 p.m. 6 p.m., my office turned from Linkwise software to a my video doc office. Right? And we used to not leave at 9 p.m. from the office. We used to leave office at 10.30 p.m. So we used to do from 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. We used to do my video doc business. And we used to go home, quickly shower, because what I did was, because I said, or you said that I don't have time, I didn't have time. So what is the first thing I did? I stopped watching television. When people tell me that they don't have time, I'm telling you these people waste N amount of hours on YouTube, on Facebook, on so many things. So I got rid of all of that. I used to watch movies. I like watching movies. I stopped watching movies and I started taking that time and investing it on my business and on myself to learn. Today, I have got the freedom of time and freedom of money. If I decide that today I don't want to work, I don't need to work. I still get paid. Why? Because I have finally won leverage. Today, the kind of uh, vacations that do we do, the house that we say, the car that we drive, the lifestyle that we carry is unbelievable. Right? So Samira, would you want this for yourself? All it takes is just two hours. And take that two hours from Facebook. Take that two hours from Netflix. 
Take the, take the two hours. Take the two hours for your children, Sameer. John, it does matter whether your son goes to university or not. Take the two hours for them. Don't do it for yourself. Do it for them. Uh, John, does it sound like a win-win deal? John will sign up when you give him this call. Next. Yalla Blitz, come on. I don't have two people to join me. Okay. By the way, Rania, it is not about two people. <clears throat> you are not in a business of catching people. <clears throat> you are in a business of networking. Always remember, Rania, your network is your network. You don't know what or how a network of uh, this kind can actually help you. To be honest with you, is that the only uh, thing that is stopping you, Rania? Because you said you don't have two people? Not a problem. Rania, even I, I know Shireen. Shireen did not have two people. But you know what? Shireen joined the business. Feel felt far. Shireen joined the business. You have to give names, guys. And please don't give the name Samira. You will fall in trouble. So don't say Samira, give any other name. You say she also did not have the, uh, time because she's a housewife and she's got children and she needs to take care of her, her family and do all of that. But you know what? Shireen spent a little time when the kids were going to sleep on this business. And today, Shireen is making so much money that she's automatically interested to invest more money on that. Right? Two people. We are not like any of the programs, Shireen. We teach you on how to do the business train you, we coach you, we have copies, we have clinics, we have mentoring sessions, and you've got a wonderful global family who can actually support you in any language. Shireen, I am willing to spend that extra time training you to actually help you make that money. So Shireen, are you ready to make that money? Ask her. Because Rania, when the minute Shireen says, I'm not ready to make that kind of money, there's no problem. Shireen, do you know two people who are really interested and desperate and require that extra money, give me their contacts. Take the two contacts from them, call them. I'm calling you on behalf of Shireen and take this and then call Shireen back and saying, John and Judy are ready. What do you want to do? He said, no, I'm still not interested. No problem. What I would do is I would put both of them as my direct. So I've made, I don't know, $400. And I would actually send one black empty living water as a gift to Shireen by courier, saying thank you so much for your contact. Right? And that's what I would do. This is how I would actually tackle Shireen, who tells me I don't have to. Next question. I joined internet marketing companies before. Yes. I had a very bad experience. Mm -hmm. Susu, do you know one person who's joined and has the worst experience in the world in network marketing? Me. Me, I joined a company. I'm not going to say the name. I joined a company. Some applying told me, join, join. We'll, we'll make a lot of money. I got excited. I joined. I got excited. I joined. I invested $3,000. I joined. Okay. Then I used to, and they said, you know, in so-and-so hotel, every uh, 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 Friday, we have something called systems. There you will learn the business. I was very excited. So I went everywhere. I would go there. So you have to stand in line and pay 50 dirhams. I would pay 50 dirhams with a smile. I would pay 50 dirhams with a smile. And then I would sit and, you know, take notes, take notes, take notes, learn what the presenter is doing. I, I would get fascinated by people talking because I'm a trainer myself, right? So I'd get fascinated with the people. But after the presentation, I would actually go to museum, you know, do uh, amazing. Can you just help me get started? His first question was, which team? I'm like, what do you mean, which team? I'm part of this company. No, 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 no. Not the company, which team? I said, I don't know which team. Ah, then I'm sorry, I cannot help you. What? Then I'm sorry, I cannot help you. I would ask people. Rania, I would beg people. Beg people, can you help me? I want to get started. Nobody helped me get started. I went three months. Every Friday, I went there. I would say, can somebody help me get started? Nobody helped me get started. And that day I told me, I told myself, maybe this is not the right thing. Right? Nobody helped me get started. You know, 
why I, I do clinics like this non-stop. <coughs> you know, some days I do 24 hours clinic. And do you know why? I see a Pradeep man in India. <coughs> Desperate to learn. Knocking all the possible doors. Somebody help me. Tell me how to get started. I need to know. I was in trouble then. <coughs> Big trouble. The money was important. By the way, many, many year, years later, I met my applicant. The same guy who got me in that company. But when I met him, I had a team size of 120,000 people. And that day, the applicant said, what? 120,000 people? I said, yeah. Because when I said, can somebody help me get started? I was goddamn serious. Yeah. So that's my story. And that's my true story. And anybody who knows me, and anybody who knows that company, they say, oh my God, somebody didn't give this guy induction? Yeah, somebody didn't give this guy induction. Why am I saying give John induction? Why am I saying give Julie induction? Why? Because when you some Pradeep Manan, if he received induction that year, he would have made it very good much before this time. Right? Guys, the most important question is what you still do. Network marketing is a true to life business. When I say true to life, Everything about us is real and genuine. Very, very real and very, very genuine. Very genuine. Right? This is the only industry with a very small capital. You can actually start a global business. Runa Global is just starting. 79 countries have been technically open. We've not gone there. Thanks to COVID-19. We are having our first anniversary launch on the 7th of August 2021 in Vegas. After that, we're going to officially launch without even meeting these people once. I have made so much. We've not had one physical meeting. If Rania is talking, I've made $17,000. I've not met them once. When Jian says, I have made $300, but I've also not met you once. So it doesn't matter what you made till now, because you've not met us even once. But once you meet us, and once I come there, and once the corporate comes there, and we actually start building market by market, can you even imagine what you'll make? It's all about having that vision. So Sushi, would you like to join my business? And let us make that difference and help each other's family make that money. So, so come on, let's admit one thing. Your family also needs the money. I'm looking for two perfect partners. I see a good partner in you. If you use that, close it. Get it? Yes, coach. Good. What other objection? Guys, objection is a mind block. If anybody analyzes, do you know why people give objection? Because they are in their comfort zone. Sometimes you got to get people out of their comfort zone. By the way, getting downlines who live in the comfort zone is not good. They won't work. You need to find prospect. You need to find people who are out of the comfort zone. And the faster you identify that, I think, congratulations, you have just found your John, your Julie, and your Samira, right? And the day you find these three people, wow, your life is going to take such a big change. See, my question to each and every one out here is how desperately are you for that change? Because if you like suffering, you will suffer. 
a lot of people they, you know they just can't afford anything and they just feel it's kismat you know it's okay it's it's a part of their destiny no it's not destiny can be rewritten by any human who desires to change it we as team blitz we are here to support you we going to give you all kind of possible tools and weapons to overcome this fear you have to make that decision first if you are ready to walk one step towards us we promise you we are ready to walk a million miles with you your family and your generations to come so 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 are you ready to start yes coach yes i know see <laughs> get it any other questions thank you so much coach you are welcome i appreciate it guys one more thing we need to have an emotional connect with the downright and that emotional connect cannot be about 60s or the emotional connect cannot be you join i hit my one star that is not called emotional connect find out who is this person find out what is the person want find out finding diamonds is not easy but if you are not looking for them you will never find them and keep looking keep digging keep talking because the day your time freedom and your money freedom is reached you will be happy with the product that you see in the mirror when you look in the mirror maybe i don't know 10 years down the line 20 years down the line you could have two stories a smile a success story or a tear in the eye it will be a failure story and you have the right to change your story the day you decide Thank you so much for coming to the Blitz Clinic. We hope this session has inspired you, helped you, motivated you. My only question to each and every one is, what's your story? Because we are here to listen. You know, a lot of people would not care about a story, but you know, we care, and it shows. Thank you so much for joining us.